who is required to file the person in tax return and when is it due? If you are an employee or self-employed person whose annual income exceeded $25,000 for the given calendar year, you are required to file the personal income tax return by April 30th the next year. For example, if you earn a total of $55,000 by the end of 2018, you are required to file your return by April 30th, 2019. However, if you are a pensioner, you are only required to file this return if you receive a total annual income over $40,000 from whatever source, whether locally or internationally. Before you begin, ensure you have the following items. 1. Your Thomas username and password. 2. A Thomas tax identification number. 3. Thomas tax identification number of your spouse if you are going to claim for him or her. And four, your child's national registration number. Now to file your tax return, simply go to the Thomas website, which is https colon two forward slashes tamis.bra.gov.bb and log into your account with your username and password. If you have forgotten your password, click forgot your password and enter your username and email address you use when you register. The temporary password will be sent to you so that you can log into your account. To begin, click Add Return. Choose the personal income tax return and the income year for which you are filing. For this example, we will choose 2018 because we are presently filing for what was earned during the entire year of 2018. Click Create Return and just double check that you have in fact chosen personal income tax return for 2018 for clicking start. Before you begin, please note that each question with an asterisk is mandatory. Also note that you need only fill in the information which pertains to you. On page one, select your occupation and marital status. If you are married, you should enter the tax identification number of your spouse. Additionally, if your spouse is unemployed or earn less than 800 for the entire income year, you can claim for him or her by choosing yes and entering their tax identification number. If you have been living and working in Barbados for more than 182 days, click yes that you are a resident for tax. If you are filing the return of a person who has died during the income year, please enter the date of the person's death. The remaining information on this page should be automatically pre-filled for you. On the income from employment and pension page, you should see some pre-filled figures of the income you receive from your employer, any pension you receive as well as allowances. Please fill in any other fields that pertain to you and move on to the next page. On the investment and miscellaneous income page, make sure you enter any income you received apart from your employment such as royalties, stocks, and any other possible investments. Also, enter information if this type of income was received from sources outside of Barbados. For example, if you received a pension from England or dividends from stock options on the American Stock Exchange. The special deductions section of the form relates to donations made to registered charities. These fields should already be pre-populated for you as the charity should have uploaded that information to Tamis on your behalf. Make sure to check the figure before moving on to the next page. If it is incorrect, then please contact the charity. The income from trade, business investments, and non-residential property page is required to be completed by self-employed persons as well as persons who are employed but also receive income from business that they have. We are now at the electrical retrofitting or energy audits section for persons who have installed renewable energy systems in their homes or businesses. Simply answer whether you are employed or self-employed and enter the relevant information. Remember, you can only claim for a maximum of 10,000 for each income year and up to five years, therefore a total of 50,000. The next page is for those persons who operate in the agriculture or fishing sector. At this point, persons operating in this area, whether part-time or full-time, should declare the income and expenses specifically realized for this sector. Moving on to the next page, people who work in the cultural sector specifically operating in an approved cultural project are required to complete this section. Make sure to enter all relevant information for your sales, other income and expenses. We have now come to the personal allowances and deductions page where you can put in information for up to two children 
under the age of 18. You may also claim for children between the ages of 18 and 25 once this child is in an approved educational institution. Click the pencil icon, then click add new role and enter the national registration information and name of your child. Simply add another role if you are claiming for a second child. In the deduction section, make sure to include any national insurance paid on behalf of a domestic person. Example, gardener, private nurse, who you employ, and also make sure that any subscriptions you pay to the trade union or statutory association are filled in for you. If you are over 40 years old, you can also claim for a maximum of 750 for medical expenses at this point. The next page pertains to income from residential rent and is for those persons who rent properties. Please enter all necessary rental information if you provide properties for rent. We are now almost at the end of the personal income tax return and here on the income tax calculation page we can see the breakdown of your total taxable income, tax allowances and most importantly whether you are required to pay a tax or receive a refund. If you are due a refund and did not enter your bank or credit union details during registration, please select direct deposit and enter these details. Now click next to take you onto the final page. This final page is only for persons who earn foreign currency in the income year. To conclude your return, click next and then click next again and see the summary of your return. Review the summary and once you are satisfied, check the declaration box and click submit. A confirmation page will appear either confirming that you are due a tax refund or payment is required. If you have to make a payment, simply click pay now and follow the prompts to create your unique electronic payment advice number before making a payment.